Hiya. Hiya. Okay, yeah. Hiya. 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 Hello. Hello to the audience. Hello, Hiya. everyone. Hello. Hello. Hiya. Hello. Hiya. Free ad. Hiya. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Pay yeah. us. Pay us. Pay us money. Hiya. Uh, hiya. Hiya. <laughs> It feels mad to be pretending like we're starting a conversation after spending the day together. It does, and I have not done this in person since. As you can see, we are miles away. <laughs> 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 That's camera banter. <laughs> Welcome to Mark 3. Welcome to Mark 3, yeah. There's... I don't know why you did that. A <laughs> <laughs> couple of interruptions here. You bit, bit nervous energy on camera. I just, maker. No, no, no. I just I don't know what, I don't know who to look at. Well, me probably. Right. Well, yeah. yeah it's, you can look at the audience that time. Like, can I do this? Can I lean? You can do whatever you want, just as long as you check the air in shot, and you don't fuck up our whole day's work. Okay. <laughs> just nice and natural. <laughs> is this close enough to the mic? This is how we normally sit, right? <laughs> um, well, this is actually going to be fun because now when you're too far away from the mic, I can just whip you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But as we've established, it wasn't just me being far away from the mic. We are having yeah, some issues. That was actually annoying. Yeah, Two so identical microphones for some reason. I can um, expect your apology any moment now. Well, you'll be waiting, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, do you know what something made me laugh earlier? Uh, Sorry, it's, your, it's so weird. <laughs> it's weird not seeing the screen yeah, after a year. Uh, just after like going me rooting around the background, me disappearing and all. Um, something I noticed earlier which really made me laugh was that... Uh, do you go on. <laughs> this is like a live show but <laughs> <laughs> with, with all the nervous energy but none of the audience um, made me laugh earlier whenever I was filling the coffee and I was like I was I was just asking like a simple question it was just like how much coffee would I put in and you were like I fucking don't know don't <laughs> care <laughs> <laughs> that's an unfair I actually think I said I usually just fuck the bag in yeah well yeah I know but then it made me think it was like we're that's that's quite a that's quite like an apt description of the differences between us in general. Like if you were to boil it down to one metaphor, it's you don't care how much coffee goes in the filter. Well, you like to measure things out. You like to know the appropriate amount. I would words. read the instructions now on noodles. I like to... <laughs> <I'd> try, <laughs> I just eat them raw out of a packet. <laughs> I know people who do that actually. Apparently it's a, it's a great re replacement for a crouton in a salad. I crunch it up. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, but I no. would prefer to boil them and eat them. Like, Well, I like to kind of find my way out in the dark with things you know <laughs> so it's trial and error and if it feels right then it's usually but do you, right do you never think like so like would you you'd eat like instant noodles obviously would you, would you ever think like I know that I like my way but I would be interested to know what the manufacturer thinks is the way to eat these Th there's only a certain amount of wrong ways you can cook noodles is, that's Name put that on my gravestone <laughs> <laughs> died by food poisoning <laughs> <laughs> Official statement from Pot Noodle. We didn't think this was possible. <laughs> they literally My don't. insides are ripped to bits. <laughs> Should have cooked them. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, no, I've, I, that's just that's just how I roll, you know. It's just like I've always just been like, let's... It was like that phone conversation we had yesterday. What was it? Which one was that now? When I was telling you that I spent the morning getting tickets to Primavera, despite not really knowing who was playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true as well. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be for booking a ticket now. Like you said, that's two years away. No, next year. Next year. So do yeah. they, do they know who? I know playing? the Strokes are playing. Uh, Megan the Stallions playing, and there's a couple other ones uh, I can't remember. I just said I. I was like, I will do it. And they're like, Can you get up at ten, 10 o'clock and buy tickets? And I was like, You can count on me. As long as you wake me up. <laughs> so wait. So it was their idea, and you, they were like, Will you wake up and buy the tickets? Well, there's a couple of us doing it. Like we right. we got a, a group of tickets because we're gonna we're gonna make a holiday of it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Where's Primavera? Barcelona. Sounds Italian. Miss <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat. I believe this, it's... This uh, false advertising. I believe it's Spanish or Spring. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I couldn't verify. Don't know if you know about this, but I did spend some time on the continent. <laughs> yes, you've, you tend to bring it up from time to time. <laughs> I don't bring it up that much. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't... Uh, like, do you even know who all is... You suppose you know who's going? No, I know some people who've gone, but <laughs> there, it's, it's kind of a whoever wants to come. This is not an invitation to invite yeah. yourselves along, by the way. Don't but feel free. Oh, this is going to annoy me now. Get out of the shot. Mouse. Um, yeah, I, like I couldn't be doing that now either. I, have a, I, I actually feel like after my limited experiences of going on holidays with friends that I, it's not for me. <laughs> 
Friendship, friends in general. Friendship just, in general is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs friends? You got to go into it with the right attitude. Just go, this is going to be a right. I think that's my week. problem right <laughs> off the bat. <laughs> I just can't seem to find the right attitude. <laughs> yeah, I just can't find it anywhere. I don't know. I just like, like, I remember being on a on a lads holiday years ago with. Uh, See, well, there's your first problem. What, what, what's the problem? La- you know, lads holidays are, there's an energy. Too much to testosterone. <laughs> yeah, there is. You need, you need to balance it out. Well, but uh, yeah, I know, but it was like a lad. It was like, is it, was we it literally started? weren't friends with any girls. <laughs> 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 we didn't know any. Um, no, we went on like a lads holiday to Berlin. And uh, there was like, there was, I would, I would basically describe it as there was two factions. There mm-hmm. was the people who wanted to see Berlin <laughs> and there was the people who thought that it was absolutely class you could drink in the street and that was all they needed to know. So it was a holiday Let, war? Let's stand outside the hostel and drink beer <laughs> and, and talk to whoever passes by I mean, I have and, been, and, chain, and smoke. I have been on stag dudes that are like that and haven't left the quarter mile radius I of the hostel, that. which is not for me, but. I didn't actually, like I thought, I thought. Like, so if you were to ask me what I would like to do on holidays, I would say not very much and I would like to relax and all that kind of stuff. But in practice, I generally get it. I get quite annoyed. If quick, I am all right. If there's a pool or a beach, I'm grand. Yeah, yeah. You're fairly easily pleased. Like, it's just water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and wet. <laughs> well, just get me wet and get I'll be grand. Get me absolutely soaked. You can put that in his gravestone. I can't. I, like, <laughs> we were chatting about this because was, the weather was good. Uh, we have a wee rooftop space where it's just complete sun trap and everybody's happy enough to lie out on it and just chill. Whereas I'm just, I kind of pace about and I sit for a while and, um, you know, I'll, walk, I'll be in and out and I'll make some food for everyone. But I, I, I can't, like, cook out in the sun. I need to be active doing something. <laughs> I just usually, like, tire myself out in the swimming pool. <laughs> I need to be able to tell clearly what the hot surfaces are and what the cold surfaces <laughs> yeah. are for I, cooking. I just like, I like being in the water. I was in the water yesterday. Was it yesterday? What day is it today? Are you still in your sea swimming? That was my third time out. How's it Good. been going? Yeah. It doesn't seems... get any easier on the testicles, Nathan, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose if they were, if they were already shriveled up to begin with it. it, it Who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> you sent me that picture when we first started this podcast. I still think about that just randomly. I call that the holy walnut. When <laughs> Whenever you fucking told me a story that you sometimes like to tuck your cock between your legs or something and Orla likes to take a funny picture of you on your side in the morning and then you sent me it. That is half right. <laughs> this is not going to up on our Instagram, right. by the way. I, yeah, I don't, I don't uh, begin the talking motion <laughs> consciously. It happens. Just so I, sometimes when it's hot, I like to, you know, I, I'm a Stop. normal human being. I like to sleep in the raw. <laughs> yeah, of course. There's no shame in that. Absolutely. I feel and, too uh, free. What's that? In the raw. <laughs> yeah, and I like to also, I'm, I'm quite a splayer. Yeah, yeah. So a few years ago. You're I, lucky Orla's tiny. <laughs> uh, yeah, she is. And, uh, but she was getting up early and the odd time, things would have happened in the night. Things would have arranged themselves in the uh-huh. night. Okay. Into uh, what's commonly known as a fruit bowl <laughs> <laughs> from mine. <laughs> and Orla used to take photos of it and send it to me so I'd wake up in the morning and, and it used to at, at the start it pissed me off just one stray bollock hanging down behind <laughs> just hanging down behind your leg at the start it was annoyed because I was embarrassed but then like I got o- I got over myself fairly quickly you weren't embarrassed enough to send it to me <laughs> <laughs> with literally no coercion course, course from on my part it's just called like, leaning he was like the- do you want to see my balls I was like not really he was like here they are I was like great that's good thanks I, I like the it's just leaning into the skid of the things that Make you feel embarrassed. Yeah, which is an unfortunate uh, turn of phrase whenever you're bare arse. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm be- trying to do that in general. Like, I, um, it's become a more and more kind of popular and acceptable for lads to fuck off to Turkey for a couple of weeks and get hair implants. And I think a couple of years ago I would have considered it, but now I'm more just trying. I think it's more, I should be more. There was a shift in the chat there now that nearly went by me. What? <laughs> yeah, just, so I, I said, lean into the skit of things that make you feel. Un- Embarrassed. You, so you're thinking about getting hair plugs? No, I'm or not. you had thought about no, getting hair plugs? No, I'm saying that's it's a, something that is in the conversational, um, like popular conversation among mm. men now that it's it's a more common thing to do. Is it? Yeah, there's nothing wrong. Turkey's with like bald. the leading fucking country in it, and lads just go over and make. A They're on the ball about most things. Apparently, if you get a flight home from Turkey, you'll just see a load of Irish lads <laughs> with like sore fucking <laughs> scalps, just, <laughs> just red raw, just scalps. Wee red raw, then nursing a wee gin just. <laughs> <laughs> but I like I had probably considered that I in, wouldn't in my youth, but not. I'm trying to get more comfortable with myself as a person. Yeah, I th- I wouldn't say 
I mean, I wouldn't judge anyone for it, but like, I just what it's. A, I feel the same way about like people getting both. I just get old. Aye, but uh, if it makes people happy, I guess. Like, yeah, you know, but everybody like, has their. You know, but do you not think that it's more? Yeah, hit the game. If there was, this, the, if there wasn't, the player. yeah, yeah. But if there wasn't like a stigma, even subconsciously somewhere attached to, to being, to old. being bald. Or whatever, for instance. You know what I mean? Do you think people would be fucked? Well, I, like hurt? most most of that, like anything usually is, it's whether it's Botox or hair implants, everything for the most part is usually to try and fight the signs of aging. Yeah. Which I think is like, right, well, I'm not I'm not in denial that uh, age is a thing or getting older is a thing that happens. So there's no point trying to fight it. It is weird, isn't it? My, my thing now is to maybe go the whole other way with it. And I seen a picture of Larry David. Uh, it must be Larry David in the 80s late 80s early 90s and he has these big glasses on and he has hair like mine out to here but it's definitely it's really thin here big and Bernie Sanders nice fl- floral shirt and I was like that's the look it's all about how you carry it yeah <laughs> it's in the way that you use it um, we're playing footsie under mm-hmm. the table here it's kind of mm-hmm. uncomfortable can mm-hmm. you get COVID from toes <laughs> um, I've been sucking enough <laughs> <laughs> also without asking um, yeah yeah it's mad I, I feel I feel like I'm I'm becoming more and more conscious of the fact that I'm getting older now. It's starting to I feel like it's starting to creep up on me, like just aches and pains, you know. You're to- I mean, you've had aches and pains ever since I've known you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, Before we started recording, you're like my whole face is melting. It was though. You didn't see it, but it was. It was. It's one of those things. It's like it's no one's ever looking at the right time, and everyone thinks I'm a fool. They mm-hmm. think I'm an awful mm-hmm. fool. Mm-hmm. But it people does do happen. think that about you. It does. I know. Well, I know they do. They've not, they, 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 there's always someone looking whenever I hear that, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it just like just like old things like that that just like like so yeah, like my face twitches a fucking load now, like when when it obviously didn't, whenever you just need to get the whole thing off. Did I tell you? Did I tell you about what <laughs> happened? Go into the doctor and get it lobbed. I need the face <laughs> off, doctor. <laughs> Can you lift and this it, and sweep under it? <laughs> and then he just slides you a DVD of face off, and he says, just before we do anything. <laughs> Watch that. You need to know the consequences. <laughs> I haven't seen Face Off. You know, <laughs> boy, I'm sure that's not what it's about, though. <laughs> I don't think the doctor has either in this I've, scenario. <laughs> Watch this. It's not relevant, but it's a class movie. But it's It'll the same out. words you said. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got, there's got to be something in there. Um, no, I, did I tell you about when I went to... Uh, did I tell you about the sports massage I got? And what she said about my arms? No. <laughs> <laughs> she goes... Are you working out? <laughs> no, that would have been great. No, she goes there. Uh, so she's from Peru uh, and she's very soft spoken, which I feel like makes everything she say, she say, every, everything she say, <laughs> she's better English than me. Everything she says, just like 10% funnier just because of the delivery, you know, but, but like, so I, I from, I've, I've been going to her for a while and like, I've, I've noticed my left arm in particular from like, I think from playing guitar and like all these micro movements, it's very tight here. But also, like, my, my bicep gets very, very tight and, like, mm. around my elbows and stuff. And so an awful lot of time ends up getting spent there. And so the other day, whenever I was getting a, a, a sports massage, she was, like, working away on this one. So I'm laying on my back and she's, and I'm, it's, like, in around your elbow in particular is, like, agony. There's loads of nerves there. It's awful. I've never felt them. <laughs> it's pure you answer. <laughs> I don't think I have any elbows at all. I, don't, I haven't even looked in a while now, to be honest. Couldn't even tell you. But, uh, and so she goes, uh, and and so she, yeah, she's, she's, she, and I have to do the accent for, for for how funny it is, right? So she's, she's she starts pressing like in around here and she's like, oh, this is very bad. It's very bad. And I goes, uh, I was like, and I goes. <laughs> Just apologies in advance to the Peruvian. Yeah, yeah, sorry, folks. Fans. I know I'm nailing it, but, <laughs> um, but she go and I goes, uh, and I'm laying on my back with a mask on, and I'm going. Do you mean like it's very tight or just generally unimpressive? And she goes <laughs> both. <laughs> I was in such a vulnerable state. I felt like it was very rude. <laughs> but uh, oh my god. Yeah. Have you ever? Yeah. Just like you, you have an idea in your head when you go for a massage that it's going to be nice and relaxing. But every time I leave there, it feels like someone beat the shit out of me. <laughs> and you do feel like, the reason I keep going back is because you do feel better after a few days, like than you did. But like. It, I feel like you feel like you were after falling down a fucking flight of stairs or you something. You should try one of the flotation tanks. 
I have done that. Yeah. She, uh, the, the lady in the flotation. <laughs> like, this thing. is unimpressive. <laughs> like, <laughs> put your trousers back on. <laughs> the lady in the. You're uh, not supposed to get in the tank in jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I used to just find that I was kind. It was like the the width of it or the length of it or whatever was like literally. I, I felt like I had about two inches either side of me, and if I mo- made any movement, my head was just constantly just, just baiting off. The, I was like, "Fucking, trying to, I'm trying to relax in here." <laughs> but uh, I remember that when I went, um, they, they they make you like sign like a little or, or fill out like a little questionnaire. I suppose you probably had to do that whenever you went as well. Uh, probably just <laughs> you probably <laughs> just bother. <laughs> what? See this thing? Fuck, it'd be grand. It'd be grand. Sure, if I drown, it's my own fault. <laughs> Should we all start facing up? What happens in there is between us and the us and the walls. But uh, and she goes, uh, I remember she said to me, like, why are you here? And I was like, oh, I've I've I first trouble with my back. And she goes, Oh, you need to see this chiropractor that I go to, he's amazing. And I was like, Oh, really? Yeah, where is he? And she was like, Oh, he's fantastic. She was like, and she goes, I see him every week. And I goes, Well, if he was that good, would you not why do you need to go all the time? And she was stumped. <laughs> she was like, That is a good point. <laughs> and I was like, if I, if, I had a, if I had a brilliant doctor and tried to sell you by saying, he's fucking amazing, I'm always in there. Well, this is my thing about dentists. Like, I don't think dentists actually want your teeth to be good. It would put, <laughs> it would put them, they don't want people to have a general sense of health, uh, oral hygiene because it would put them out tooth. of business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big tooth. Big tooth. Um, yeah, I suppose, yeah. Like, like, I haven't flossed ever. And every time I go to the dentist, I feel like he knows I don't floss. But he never tells me to floss. And I know I should be flossing. And I know it's his job to tell me I, fl- I should floss. I'm working my way up still to book my first dentist appointment in a while. Do you remember I brought it up a couple first. of years ago? You still haven't Do you remember it? since? remember I found the, the sheet of paper <laughs> in Brighton that was nailed into like a yes. tobacco case and the yes. wall said go to the dentist after I'd been talking about it? Sometimes I think I actually can will things, things into it. existence. <clears throat> I mean, I obviously haven't went to the dentist yet, but I had been talking... So I, do you remember I was in Brighton visiting Philly and I'd been talking to him at the bar while we were ordering pints and I was telling him how I'd become really afraid of the dentist and we were chatting about it for about 10, 15 minutes. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a thing that has become, because I had a really negative experience when I was quite young and, it's, and I just stopped going and it's, it's become a thing now and now I'm really afraid. But we were chatting about that and then we went down and we picked a table <laughs> and there was like hundreds of tobacco things, tobacco yeah. um, tins nailed in the wall. And I lifted up one and there was a slip of paper and it was a drawing of teeth and it said, go to the dentist. <laughs> now. Am I right? <laughs> now. So at the moment, I'm doing some work for my mate's web design company. Yeah. Guys, these are great. I lo- I'm, 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 I'm loving it. Uh, I love working there. But wh- when I started off, one of the first, I kept you like so. What I was getting learning the ropes, I was like, you know, say for example, and I kept using uh, for a fictional <laughs> business name. I kept using Mix Dildo Emporium. Just as, say somebody wanted to come, and it was a guy it's Mix Dildo Emporium. So he, and he to wants to, and, and he were. wants to build a website. What was the first project that I won for that that um, company? A sex toy, sex uh, toy item website. Mm-hmm. website it was a sex toy website. That's true. Why couldn't you just dream? About being loaded, or don't want to be loaded, man. You know, it comes with its own burdens. <laughs> <laughs> you have to count it all. <laughs> you got to figure out a bank you can really trust. There is another thing as well that I will in the existence, um, maybe. But I, that, that's for a, the details of that need to remain. You mean your dog, maybe? Yeah. Not just you're not sure if you willed it into existence or not. Just to be, <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the power I wield sometimes fucking it's terrifying to think. <laughs> just looking at his little piano fingers. Just I, I keep going to sit like this, but were you, I don't know if you were on Twitter the other day. Do you see from the Friends reunion? Uh, Matt LeBlanc was essentially yeah. like was adopted as an Irish uncle. I caught the tail end of that. It was and fucking hilarious. It had already like, went through like so. You know, obviously Twitter has various stages. So there's like this is funny. Uh, and then it'll eventually someone who's incredibly wise will have point out why we're all terrible. It's problematic. For it. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so then it was body shaming, which was bullshit because it wasn't. It was all yeah. about the vibe. It didn't matter about physically how he yeah. looked. It was the way he was carrying himself. It was, just, it was the shirt he was wearing. Was just, the best one I seen was a guy like that. John Quinn had just edited like a hand slipping a tenor, <laughs> and I was like, because there was no text with it, um, and I was like, that's the fucking yeah, yeah. That's the. Why does Twitter take everything and fucking ruin it in about six hours? <laughs> <laughs> they just ignore you. Just ignore the people that are no fun. 
But well, um, actually, for for people who don't, people who aren't from Ireland, the, from the French Union, Matt LeBlanc really the, the iconic Irish show. <laughs> he exuded an avuncular energy for like, the way he was sitting like this with his shirt. He looked happy, looked content, yeah. and he was you could just, he, you could hear him in your head going, <gasps> <gasps> "Sure, what are you at now? You down in Dublin? Aye, aye. Any jobs in that? No, oh, Jesus, why that sort of thing? Yeah, you know." Yeah. Um, to be fair, like even that. without having been following it as soon as I saw the picture, I was like, oh yeah, I see that. So That's I'm trying good. not to sit like that. Yeah, you'd be all right. You'd be grand. You oh, can sit whatever way you want. You look ridiculous no matter what you do. Cheers, thanks. It's what I promise, for. it's an even keel the whole way. I wore these trousers because I was thinking, I need to wear something ostentatious. Uh, and so I realised I was going to... Pick to really go out in a limb on the thing you can't see. Yeah, exactly. So well, ne- next the week, underside of his shoes the, are wild. <laughs> <laughs> next week, I'm going to wear a nice shirt. going to really... I ironed up. this. And you know how I feel about ironing. I'm just surprised you didn't land in with a cardigan and a hat. There's a cardigan in the car. That's not a joke. <laughs> you never leave house. What do you mean a hat? I've only worn a hat once. Okay, all right. Well, I'll take it back. And I only wore it because I'd been wearing a hat all the night before, which I guess is twice. But, yeah. I've been doing I, that. I f- <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> I um, I fucking hate wearing hats. That's If, if I could pick something that I hated the most about working in Domino's just in like as a overarching feature other than the terrible pay and the rude customers and well it's not the, the only thing. Women the women answering in their underwear. Yeah well you know you gotta the struggle. The man answering in you their underwear. You gotta struggle on but <laughs> um, yeah I fucking hate wearing oh, there's only one size of hat in there and it's just like a fraction too small for my head and I always feel like it's just kind of falling off. It's really annoying. Do you want to hear about a fun delivery I had the other night? Go on. This is really annoying, right? So if you're ordering pizza and you use an app to do so, do yourself a favor. If you're not in your house when you order the pizza, if you're like that wise guy at the party who's like, I have the app, sure, I'll, I'll do it here. D- change the address. Otherwise, it'll go to your house. You fucking idiots. That happens a lot. From our end. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Well, yeah. you're terrible. <laughs> but, uh, well, he, look, he, well, here's... We so were sitting it, watching TV the other night, and next thing the door knocked, and the guy just handed us a tub of ice cream. <laughs> and the next thing I got a phone call from Philly going, have you got my dang cream? <laughs> <laughs> well, so... He's like, I just wanted to watch Catch Me If I, ca- catch me if I Can and eat my dang cream. <laughs> <laughs> What's dang cream? He just was going off on one. <laughs> His dang cream. <laughs> All right, okay. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like... I had I had delivered to this person the week previous and it was my first time being there like that time and it was like awkward enough to get to so I remember when I saw it it was my last delivery night and I was like and I was like oh yeah that's that one that's down that entry fucking right grand so head head up the road it's like at this point it's about quarter past 12 so the shop's closed and all and it is literally down like a tiny alleyway with like a gate that looks like you're not meant to open it kind of a thing it's kind of fucking weird to be honest but um Portal to another dimension, weird. Kind of, yeah. yeah. yeah Narnia yeah, yeah. sort of stuff. Or like yeah. 100% you'll get stabbed, sort of. Well, you, Narnia is a rough place. <laughs> it, can be, it can be a bit rough and tumble. <laughs> There's lions. Um, but, uh, and so I fucking knocked the door. All the lights are off. Knock the door. Nothing. Wait a few seconds. Knock again. Um, and it's like, so it's like, it's like a, so it's like the number and then B. So it's like the upstairs apartment of this place so i'm conscious as well that there's people living downstairs at the level i'm baiting the fucking door so i don't want to be like hammering it but i'm waiting there for ages she's not coming i'm like fuck's sake so then i try ringing her a few times she doesn't answer the she doesn't answer the phone i ring the shop i'm like hey what am i meant to do here do i just leave this on the floor or like i don't know what to do and he was like just try ring her once more and if she doesn't answer just bring it back and i was like all right whatever so i ring and she answers and she's what like, happens to pizzas when they go back we eat them mm. um but uh, perks of the job so thanks guys <laughs> but uh well we're not always allowed to eat them though because it's like to disincentivize folks from just phoning up fake orders and be like oh did that come back did it what are the parameters for being allowed to eat them it needs to be pretty obvious that you didn't engineer the whole situation, I <laughs> okay. suppose. Yeah. That Which is why I don't have a, a red, job in Domino's. That'd be a red flag right away. <laughs> right, right away. All this All my orders all night. They just, uh, there'd been nobody home. <laughs> I've got a boot full of pizzas here. That's me. And anyway, I'm clocking off. There's a couple of red flags that are easy to spot. Like, like you get, I'll, well, I, we actually had one last night. I'll, I'll tell you that in a sec. But anyway, so she eventually answers uh, and she's like, what? What? Hello? I was like, ha-. and at this point, now I've been at the door about 15 minutes. I should be back in the shop and on my way home at this point. Like, so I'm fucking annoyed. So I'm like, hello, did you order pizza? She's like, yeah, yeah. Are you there? 
I was like, yes, I'm outside your door. Can you come and answer the door? And she's like, oh, yeah, okay, sorry. Um, yeah, I'll be down there in a sec. I was like, okay. So now I wait like two minutes. Doesn't answer the fucking door. Again, I ring again. I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, hello? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, hello. <laughs> it's still me. I'm at your door. Are you going to come and get this fucking pizza off me? She's like, you've got a mouth on you. And I was like, well, no, no, I didn't say that. But um, so... Uh, you do have a mouth on you. I do indeed, yeah. I do indeed. It's very hard to hold back, and certainly in these situations. But um, so then she says, I'm at my door. I was like, well, I'm at your door, and you're definitely not here. And she's like, where are you? I was like, da 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 da, da B Street. And she was like, oh, no, I'm not there. I'm at a friend's house. I was like, okay, cool. So did, did you order from the app, which has your address where you live saved? She's like, yeah. I was like, did you change the address on so that it would go to where you are rather than where you live? No. And did you leave any instructions to tell me that you weren't at the place you told me to deliver it to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so then I was like, okay, cool. And I was like, I, uh, I'm going to sit here on your front doorstep and eat your pizza <laughs> you just to teach you a lesson. <laughs> you can join me if you want, yeah, but yeah, it could yeah. all be gone by the time you <laughs> yeah. get here. Depends how far I've away I've been huh? on long fucking shift and I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> so then she goes, uh, so then she goes, here, look, I'm not far. Could you just bring it to where I am? And I go, okay. Thinking, by the way, and here's, here's, here's your way out as a customer now if you're in this situation. If you make the driver go another place, that you initially sent them from. Absolutely tip them. 100%. For the inconvenience, any, any amount of money, over a pound, I would say, would be acceptable. Just, sorry about the mix-up. This is obviously my fault. I'm an awful person. Here's money as compensation. That'll go a long way. Right? Or a slice of pizza. Well, you know, there's, there's many options <laughs> on how, how to make this right. But anyway, I, eventually, I get to the door that she is actually at, which is another five minute fucking drive away in the wrong direction. And then she answers the door and I would have been forgiven had I thought that I had knocked on the door of Tony Montana because there was just coke all over her nose. It was like she had buried her face in a bag of it. It was all over her face and she was like... So, that, so initially I had thought Whenever she was making She's those... She's having a coke nap there when you <laughs> rang? <laughs> I crashed pretty hard. I, so initially when I had rang her and she'd answered, I thought she was making like a I just woke up sound, but it was a I'm brushing coke off my face sound. It was like <sniffs> all this kind of crack. And she just has coke all over her nose. And she's just like, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Oh. And I... And, <laughs> do you want to weep up? And, uh, and so I'm just like, I'm fuming at this point. I'm just like, here. And she's like... So sorry about that. And I just stand there and kind of wait a minute just to be like, you going to try find something in your pocket? Maybe rustling around a giant you want to eat? <laughs> but, uh, and she just was like, I'm so sorry about that. And I'm like just standing there going like, I can't believe that it has not occurred to this person who's on cocaine. I well, suppose. that's, there's your... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your... And then I was like, well, maybe I'm the asshole here for expecting any better. Famous but... empathy booster, cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and then she, and I just fucked off. I was just like, I can't believe how terrible some people are. Uh, now, to quickly put a bow in how to successfully do a prank order, let me tell you how not to do it. Don't order one pizza and 20 bottles of water, which someone did last <laughs> night. Was that a prank? Yeah, of course it was a prank. Who would order... 20, the order came to like 50 pounds. Why would, it's a, it's a, it's an, and if it's not paid for already. Flip it. <laughs> yeah, 20 flip, pizzas, flip, one bottle of water. No, flip those uh, waters, make a profit, cover the cost of the pizza. Bish, I don't bash, think you bosh. understand how, how flipping it works. It, it, it doesn't work if you pay a, above a premium. <laughs> for, yeah, you just have to charge above that premium again. Like, <laughs> who wants your, a bottle your of- Your lack of business acumen <laughs> is sometimes really shocking to me. Who wants a bottle of water? Have you got four, four pounds? pounds? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> but uh, yeah, so like, it just makes me laugh. There's some fucker thinks they're like, and like, so I'm always thinking like, they have to be, they have to be able to see the door. You've of- reminded me of something, We an email. Can I grab my phone? Absolutely. To, 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 uh, an email that we got. About this very thing. Foodoo fa fa. Foodoo fa 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 fa. That's elevator music while we're waiting. It's a flight of the Concords, actually. Foodoo fa fa. Foodoo fa fa. So, a couple of weeks ago, probably months at this stage, we got an email into the Mad Notions 
uh, Gmail. Let me see if I can find it here. Asking for Nathan to deliver him food. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Which I absolutely won't do, by the way. Can you vamp, Nathan? No. This is your mess. You clean it up. I really have made a mess of it, haven't I? Do you know what I'll do? Just while we're waiting there. This is my beautiful Katara Harland guitar. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at it in all its blueness. That's, yeah, a lot of our listeners donated to that cause. There is no proof that I got it. I'm all over. Where the fuck is it? You swear now we get loads of emails. We do. <laughs> from, for some reason we have loads of emails from... Pla- I would like to talk about this. Yeah, Planned Parenthood. What the fuck is Why happening? Why are we getting subscriptions? Who's Jared? <laughs> <laughs> I actually, this has been going on for weeks. This has been going on for weeks. And you know who you are. And I almost feel like maybe... Got it. I almost feel like mentioning it is exactly what you were hoping for. And this has been like a real long game for you, Jared. But we've been getting a lot of plans. Somebody has signed us up for some sort of a fucking spam thing. And we are getting constant. And me and Nathan have, we've been very careful. We're not ready to start a family yet. Absolutely not. So we've. uh, You've been on the pill for a while now. Yeah, condoms everywhere. Hands, feet. Yeah. One over the head. Absolutely. Yeah. Can't be too careful. Everywhere but where it matters. This is, hello, my name is Nathan. Parenthesis, no relation. And I'm a big <laughs> fan of the show. My sister got on to you guys two years back and I've been using your musical legend stories. That dates us. <laughs> <laughs> As a substitute for a personality ever since. You've seemed to evolved into having more Nathan rants. Again, no relation, but that's okay. I guess I can use his political material at social events too. Great. This is my first time in NI as I'm over for my mate's wedding. I've been self-isolating in the fiancé's grand's house and having just bust into a stale packet of her custard creams, I've worked up the courage to email. My question is, does Nathan's pizza jurisdiction stretch out to Carrick Fergus? And if so, how do I ensure, him, how do I ensure getting him as a delivery guy without specifically asking for him like, like, like I'm at a dough-based strip club? Sorry for the weird message, but I've just snacked a double pack of custard creams after all. Cheers for all the crack and stuff, Nate. <laughs> now, is that something that our listeners can do? Can no. Can, no, I can absolutely guarantee you that if I was delivering in Carrick Fergus and the instruction said, "Can you please send the Irish guy?" That'd be, that's also a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just uh, across the board. That's not a, a service you'll offer I'm, for tips. Oh, you know, you know? no, I don't want to get down this road, man. I don't want to get down this road. I just think you might supplement your income. <laughs> That's a real, you, you come real to the door sad and tier of Patreon. The and then they're like, okay, you've got two minutes. Rant. <laughs> and then they go, okay, there's your fiver. <laughs> More. Rantier. Rantier. Um, I think I replied back to him. Uh, and I said, Nathan's uh, Pizza Dominion does not stretch to Carrick Fergus, sadly. And I'm not sure if you can request a driver. This, this, that feels just asking to be a victim of a paramilitary beating. Exactly. So, yeah, that's exactly what I'd be afraid of. Sorry, but thank sorry, you for sorry, getting Nate. in touch, Nate. And I hope the wedding was grand. Hope the granny didn't notice the missing custard creams. She'd be Content. <laughs> Half Bro- an hour in. That's broken phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, aye. So that's that's been the crack anyway. Um, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a rip roaring place to work all the time. But. Um, yeah, you but you'll be getting gigs again soon. Yeah, ju- can I? You've reminded me of something that I I was saving up to talk to you about. Go on. <laughs> so I took a notion the other day that I might start applying for like real jobs. That's right, because you sent, asked me to send my CV over. Yes. And what do you think? I feel works hard in groups, but also comfortable working alone. <laughs> <laughs> Motivated, determined. I feel like you're so I before contacting you, yeah. I had looked up various templates of CVs, like kind of websites that are like, you know, you can input your information into this handy graphic, it'll look Make all it nice cool. on whatever. And I would say that your CV was like the digital uh <laughs> comparison of uh writing it on a napkin. <laughs> True, <laughs> guilty as charged, but it doesn't even fill the page. It's just like if you print, if you print, you're on the fucking no, no. But I just mean like all the ones I saw were like you know it was like there was no space, there was no there was yeah. no blank space, yeah. but you load of word art, <laughs> <laughs> just like, like word art, a like, clippy in the middle, proficient in word art, and this is fucking. 
<laughs> That'd be an amazing way to put that down as a skill. Just terrible clip art. Just badly expanded. <laughs> that duck holding a sledgehammer over the computer. But you also... Experience in construction. <laughs> you, you also... I've had a lot more jobs than I remember you telling me. I've about. had a lot of jobs. Yeah. My CV reads like a man who has no idea what he's doing <laughs> with his it life. It absolutely does. You worked for Vodafone for a while? I, as in an inbound call center. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I see. I dreamt up this amazing fantasy of you trying to sell someone a phone. And I, well, I was not a million miles away from that. I wasn't, like, I was more to do with, like, existing customers. Like, I didn't spend very long. What era of phones would we have been talking now that you would have been working? Like, what? what? Sorry. Just that was when I first moved to Belfast, and I've probably told this story before, <laughs> but it's not a very uh, it doesn't paint me in a great light. But um, so one we just me and Orla just moved up to Belfast when I was work. I was we were living in East Belfast, and she was working in North, I think, and I was working in West, and we were both really fleeced. It'd take me an hour. I was walking to work every morning. It'd take me an hour, just over an hour or so, and she would be going out. We both both working in call centers, miserable, but. One night I had a couple of pints of stout and the next morning I was walking up and I was just feeling a bit rough. I don't know, about four or five. Enough enough for it to wreak havocs with the insides. And as I was walking into the office, something issued forth that was beyond my control, Nathan. Right. Not, not Nothing solid. <laughs> nothing solid. <laughs> you don't sound sure, but carry on. But as I was walking, <laughs> just as I was kind of walking in the front <laughs> in the office, and I was coming to my bay, and a young girl across me was like, Oh my God! <laughs> She's like, Did someone step on dog shit? And I was like, Oh God. I could just feel the sweat in my forehead straight away. I was like, Oh Christ. What am I going to do just here? just eking out here. Like, I do here? Every I like, pore. I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not fit for this. <laughs> and then someone else came and sat there in the bay. I was like, Oh Christ! Jesus! <laughs> and I was like, so I, I looked at my shoe and I was like, oh yeah, it's me. <laughs> I am the one. <laughs> and they're like, God, you got, oh man, you got to go out and fucking. You gotta, so wiping your hole. <laughs> you got to go out and clean your shoe. So I left the office. <laughs> I pretended to. And went out to the grass with the phone. <laughs> I pretended to wipe my shoe and I looked up and they were all looking out the window at me. And I was like. Just wiping no wiping shit not, off. Nothing, wiping no shit off my shoe, just <laughs> waiting for the smell to soup it. I laughed shortly after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. That's amazing. You have told me that before. It's still funny. Man. Oh, fucking hell. It's so good. That place was horrible. One time they gave away a Blu-ray copy of The Wolf of Wall Street <laughs> as a bonus for hitting your targets and all these lads. <laughs> they all thought, I was like, I think these are missing the moral of this this film. It's, they're not to be aspired to. They're all like, that film's class, they're all deadly in it. I was like, no. I think it's supposed to be like, a, you know, we're, you're not supposed to empathize or you're not supposed to kind of enjoy what they're doing. There, there's, a, there's a, you know, there's a lesson to be learned. They're like, no, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> Penny stocks. <laughs> Quaaludes in class. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know where we can get some of those? Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm starting to think about maybe. Uh, I am starting to think about maybe venturing into the world of having a a steady, non music related source of income. It's good that everybody donated money for your. No, well, let me be clear before fucking Captain Hilarious over here. <laughs> points out something which is not true it's not that it's not that i want to like stop doing music i just i would like to be able to not rely solely i just i don't know i i i feel like maybe i'm being pessimistic about it but i i don't feel like i goods coming in the next couple of months i hope i'm wrong but like so uh, by not relying on a solely for money and going getting another avenue for like kind of income will just the, the, the thing with that is that's class you'll love music again but you'll the time and no, I, I know, I know. It becomes a factor. And then. it would need to be, it would need to be something. Well, so there was one thing in particular that I was, I was thinking about that kind of seems to work where I would still be able to use some skills that I have accrued from, you know, years of working in music or whatever. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> All this? <laughs> um, but, uh, but like be able to work on like short term contracts. So mm. you'd be able to pick 
and choose. I mean, that's probably a bit pie in the sky, but it would be something that I would... So if anybody knows of any jobs going... Yeah, let me know. Um, I can't do, like, weekends or <laughs> or, or stay past... That's a problem with authority. Or stay past four most days. But, um, yeah, but I just, like, I would like to... Even if it was only short term, I just... I just... I feel like I would enjoy not having to solely rely on... I, I don't know. I'd say I have this terrible feeling about gigging coming back that it's going to be terrible. They'll probably try and charge you less money. See them with the price off a pint these days. Yeah, I mean, but that's 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 the thing. Like, it's just like they're gonna they're gonna they're passing on all the. I did get a cool call from uh, a mid years uh, Matt about a possible thing happening in Oma, mm -hmm. which would be a regular thing actually, which would be cool. Um. And I would like to. I would like to keep on. That's Matt, famous uh, nephew of famous Artie McGlynn. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, I didn't want to put his information out there in case he gets hounded for gigs. But uh, well, sorry, mate. But uh, <laughs> but um, he tried. I tried my best. <laughs> Look what I'm dealing with here. Like, <laughs> but um, but <laughs> so uh, absolutely no no entertainment savvy at all. Just like you mean and what? here's his phone number. <laughs> Did you forget his name? <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> so I actually when he whenever he rang he must he must have called and I didn't save his number and then it was it must have been like in my messages and I I was I, I periodically go through block what are obviously spam calls and then just label things that I don't can't remember who the person is and it so whenever it whenever he rang it just came up who uh, with many O's who knows <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hello um but. Uh, so like stuff like that would be cool. I would I would just like to be able to, to be in a position, if, if, even if it was like super part time or anything, that it just meant that I didn't have to. I could just pick the things I like doing. You know what I mean? And like, well, we'd all like that, Nathan. We'd all just like to do what we want. Well, unfortunately, that's white, not possible. Well, well, not and then attitude. you talk about me being the fucking head in the clouds dreamer. I'm the realist here. Aye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just watch me. All right, but. Uh, no, I just, I just, I feel like it's possible. I feel like some of, some of the things I was looking at, like, wouldn't be terribly time consuming and it would be very good money. And it's like, wouldn't it be class to be able to take that and then still be free in the evenings to do gigs such as, you know, the one in Oma or something, for instance, mm. that I would enjoy doing or songbook or, or stuff like that. Because I don't know, I just like that, those chats I was having in July last year, Albeit how brief they were for the couple of weeks that stuff was open again. Like, I don't know, it just it hasn't filled me with confidence. I mean, who knows? The phone might start ringing out and people might start saying, like, oh, it's all back to normal and fucking whatever. And I might be wrong. I, I'm not holding out, I'm not holding my breath, like, but, um, but like, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just really disheartening how long it's taken mm. to get back. And I just feel like, <coughs> excuse me. I just feel like if if uh, I don't know. Do you do you, how like how are you feeling about like music as a career in general at the minute now? It's never really been much of a career for me. I've never made. I've just made enough money to scrape <laughs> by. Like, but at this stage of my life, I, mm -hmm. I need more. Um, so I still want. Like, I I'm <clears throat> I still want to pursue it, and I still want to do stuff. And I still want to release music, but. In terms of like gigging, like full time gigging, I don't think it's really for me either. Though the the, the pub gigging is, I did it for a couple of years, mm -hmm. um, until the stag do's <laughs> and all these got in the way. <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> Imagine losing your job for just not showing up. It's unheard of. Uh, can I just say, in my defence, it was explicitly stated that these I was unavailable in those dates. <laughs> yeah, and they're pissed. Yeah. And he was just really good. He was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Watching him was like, ah, yep, I see what you've done here. And to be honest with you, I don't blame you. I've done the same myself. But sure, this isn't even my bass, nor is it my amp. <laughs> and the amp's not working, as you well know. <laughs> it's all for show. Sure. Um, but like, yeah, but like, do you think like, yeah, well, I guess that's, yeah, I suppose you, you, you never really relied solely on gigging for income, I suppose. No, really, I've always you? been supplementing it. In some yeah. way. Yeah. 
I don't know. Maybe, I'm, maybe once everything opens up, I'll just be like, ah, you know, I'll be eating my words and it'll all, there'll be gigs all over the place and it'll be fine. But I don't know. It just it, It's hard to feel like, like I know I have like a load of musician friends and I know I have like in my, you know, circle of people that I keep up with or whatever, like on Facebook and all that kind of stuff. Like it's easy to feel really like a, appreciated or whatever, like, you know, just in general as like not me personally, but just like music in general and local music and all that kind of stuff. But um, I don't know, it just feels like if, if it mattered that much to people, I feel like something would be after happening by now. Um, I think it's... <coughs> I understand as well. That, like, for the general populace, music is like a background thing that has just become widely accepted as, yeah. you know. So the the uh, effort and the it has, as work and performance is kind of undermined or devalued just by the nature of it being everywhere and immediately accessible. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's just like... I know it's, I would like a bit of variance in what the pubs are offering in terms of music. Yeah, oh my God. That's why that thing in Omis is, is has been so exciting because like Matt really sounds like he, it's refreshing to have somebody who's coming from an actual position of actually having done yeah. what we do as well to be, to be the one phoning you because like, yeah, like he, he clearly sounds like he wants to do it right. Like and there's just not really enough of those folks about, there's a couple, you know, but sadly they're never the ones that have money. Mm. Uh, and so when like a, a rare opportunity comes up where it sounds like people want to do it right, I'd be willing to travel to Oma for it, you know what I mean? But, but um, which is why that's been cool. But I just like, I don't know, like, I just, I just think, well, I, I, it's like twofold. I, I feel like if I wasn't gigging all the time, uh, like I had been, f like, and that was my sole source of income, I would, I feel like I would probably work harder to do the other parts that I'm always wanting to do, like in terms of actually gigging with my own stuff, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I feel like there would be more of an impetus to be getting out and performing. And, and I know like that the likes of like songbook and stuff would like keep me active enough that I, I would never, like I would, there'd be no danger of me like taking my eye off it or whatever, like that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? But but I, I just feel like, um, I just feel like I'd probably enjoy it more or something if 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 whenever I went back I'd probably only be playing for people that actually wanted to hear what I was doing rather than because like yeah I mean the, the saving grace for gigging for me always was that the money was good and I guess that's just my fear at the minute is like is it even going to be good mm -hmm. when I go back like because I wasn't doing it because I loved playing pop tunes for fucking people who weren't listening you know what I mean that was never the draw <laughs> it was how easy it was to pay the bills yeah um but uh, yeah, I'm also like I'm, I feel like I'm uh, I feel like I'm having a, a kind of a weird moment as well with like just going like kind of what I was talking about like about aging and stuff earlier, um, where it's just like I was thinking I was driving around the other day and I was listening to some mixes and stuff that, of stuff that I'm working on at the minute, um, because I love listening to myself. But um, you wouldn't know, <laughs> yeah, barely <laughs> as evidenced. <laughs> but um, but like. I was like, geez, I was signed when I was 18 and I am now, that's, so that's 10, well no, I was signed when I was 16 and it's, so it's been 12 years since that happened now because I'm 28 and like, I still don't have an album out, like, that freaks the fuck out of me, like, it just feels like it keeps like, I, it, there's always like I, a, I think you have a habit of trying to create the perfect circumstances for things. Yeah. Whereas yeah, yeah. you just have to. Like yeah. nothing is it you're there's never gonna be the right time. Yeah. And you just have to kind of I just feel like things keep coming up and like so there's one thing in particular that like uh isn't it would be a very good reason to be waiting. But it's like and it's very vague. But like but um and so it, it feels like right now it's definitely potentially like the right thing to be doing. And especially with, like, you can't do anything at the minute anyway, so, uh, like, releasing music probably right this very moment in time isn't probably ideal anyway, but, like, but, um, and I feel great about, like, what I'm recording and stuff at the minute and writing and all that, all that stuff's, like, going great, but it it, it just, like, yeah, it just, it's hard to, I, f I find it really hard to get my head back into the thought of anything to do with, like, original music. I've, I've like, I've sat down a few times, like, even to, like, 
just like try and make like videos and stuff and it just fucking gets away from me for some reason i don't I just like the thought of like putting the time in just without knowing why or where things are going or or like why um like what it could lead to with the world being the way it is in this very moment you gotta find why you were doing it in the first place yeah yeah you know yeah yeah which is doesn't really matter what's happening externally but it is i think you have it you've want you eat time yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very de- it's delicious. <laughs> you do like uh, as, as I've said before. I've seen you take twenty five minutes to make a cup of tea. It's good tea though. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. No need to get so defensive. I'm just saying, you know, if you want tea made right. But like, I do think if like, you want any amount fucked into the fucking filter and figure it out like, later, <laughs> it's, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Go to that guy. It's easy to try and wait for the perfect moment or try to get everything perfect, whereas you kind of just got to steamroll ahead with it if you yeah. want, if it's freaking you out that much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I felt good Le- about Release it. mediocrity, that's what I do. <laughs> and then win them over with your charm. <laughs> yeah. No, I know, I know, I know. You're right. Like, I just need to fucking, I just need to, it just, yeah, just like need the world to feel normal again so that like things can... So I can go back to having like less excuses for why I still do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it'll be fun to get back into all that stuff. I think it'll be, it'll be nice to, I feel like I'm like the closest I've ever been to like having something to release and all that kind of crack. Like, so like all that stuff is very promising on, on that side of stuff. And like the problem before was that like I wasn't writing or, mm. just, or like which I am doing now. And I feel really good about all that kind of stuff. So like the, the, the real difficult like creative problems that I was having before, I feel like are gone now. So like that's probably a good that's probably good news. But like it's just like it's time now. Yeah. Just still don't feel any like smarter or wiser about how to do stuff. But you're right, probably just only to Yeah. Who's who's expecting me to You level it? up by doing, I think. Yeah. Rather than all my years up. of playing PlayStation, you think I would have figured that out by myself now. <laughs> God. Sitting here now in level one for age is going like just keep opening up the same save file going. Like, just keep coming back to that email <laughs> in your inbox from 12 years ago. <laughs> Any chance? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll get back to you in a couple of years. Sorry. Right. <laughs> We've got something brilliant cooking up though. <laughs> but, uh, mm. yeah. Um, where the fuck did that go? Oh, here it is. Um, but, uh, what about you? You were having like loads of uh, promising meetings and all this kind of stuff a while ago, weren't so you? So all I do now is have meetings, but like it's it's so sp- everything is so speculative. There's no point really chatting about it that much. But it's that none of it's really music orientated. Although uh, there might be the chance to bring some of the stuff that I did with the also rounds and yeah. and extrapolate on that. But <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. A couple of weeks ago, I think I as I said, I farted out some pheromones for producers, and they started emailing me again, which made me think that the world is kind of opening up a wee bit. But yeah. It's all early days, and a lot of times you're like, hmm, ah, I see some funds have been made available to the regions. Ah, here I am, the box ticking exercise, you know. I'll take your money for nothing, you know. Um, which I think is probably a lot uh, to do with it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the quotas to fill, people to Absolutely. humor. <laughs> My favorite bit at the end of all those is, like, when you have to, like, tick the boxes for, like, Male, female, yeah. age range, religion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you anything interesting that we could maybe tick a few boxes <laughs> on the religion bit there? You know, that's a big contentious issue here. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't, I'm struggling with uh, songwriting, lyrics and melody. You sent me something the other day, it was cool. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's the product of a lot of time and, not much effort. No, well, not a lot of time, and not much reward for the the, the mental time put into it. You know. Oh, I mean, it, it sounded like it was. It was like. <sighs> Thanks. It was brilliant to know. A lot of the way is there. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be disheartened by that. It sounds like whatever. Should we have to get on this album that we promised? But let me do my own first. Fucking well. hell! Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're constantly promising these people stuff and they know we're not going to follow through so c- we've been talking about this for fucking two years for fuck's ah, sake well look at us go yeah we'll have the album in about two years Relax. we're in the vault by the way I keep looking at the screen but rather looking at the camera we're in the vault does this look like a cult to you? <laughs> <laughs> yes he showed does. me the, the, the waiting pen earlier <laughs> 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 he's like it's not a cult <laughs> it's, it's 
just where they go when they're bad. This uh, is just where we put the SPs. <laughs> what I have to ask. What is suppressed, it? suppressive person, I think. <laughs> right. From another non-cult, that another, one. Another non-cult. Um, I have to say, I know earlier on I was eating my words whenever uh, your mate was Jonathan. Yeah. Came through in, a, in, a, in an instant. Yeah, so purple. I put a wee shout out, said, has anybody got any fabric for our table? And within two minutes he was down with a sheet of fabric and some scissors. And he was like, you just take home however much you want. Yeah. And Mick thought he was making about four beds. And I was like, we'll roll that back up now <laughs> and we'll just take what we need. Mick. He said, take how much you want. <laughs> I was like, just leave the roll. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine if you're like, yeah, you can just leave that there. Yeah. He's like, you could cover five just football bitches with this. <laughs> pat him on the bottom as he's leaving. <laughs> Good man. I mean, I have to say it looked, it looked very handy to be part of this cult um, for, for that moment. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's a cool, it's, it is a cool place to be, like to be spending time, like for sure. Like it's kind of a nice. No, it's cool. It's very cool. Nice buzz around the place. I'm doing the Vault Instagram takeover this week. So I I'm, saw that. I'm in charge. So check it out. Go on to the Vault Insta and you'll see some shit about me and some shit about this. Hey. Yeah. It's really what, hard. What's I it's the... way harder to do when you're like not on your own channels and you kind of dick about doing your yeah. own thing but then when you're on kind of like a do you feel like the vault's social media has like a voice already that it doesn't you're even it's not that it has a voice the whole thing is like yeah no just go on and kind of sh tell tell us what you're about and show the people who are following you what you're about but you kind of have to kind of pitch yourself a wee bit and right. talk about what you've done which you know artists are famously good at <laughs> it's like that cross on the finishing line at the marathon for the vault where we're telling everybody just assumed it was for somebody else <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nobody wants oh. to take the glory. Look. <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that and it's the best. <laughs> so and then good. I came through last, cycled right through it. <laughs> <laughs> I Hi. fucking love that. I don't know I think of that. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Just, oh, is that... I mean, I know we're all racing, <laughs> but is the, uh, that the finish line, line might be for... possibly be for me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I need I need to I need to start fucking exercising or something as well. I think that would that would probably. Well, I brought boxing gloves, so we're gonna have a wee scrap after this. Should we just maybe round out this first episode with a few digs? A few digs. Do you want to, do you want to throw? I tell you what, this is how we'll end this episode because okay. we've been talking about it for ages. We'll both put a glove on and punch each other in the face. <laughs> I don't think you're ready for that. <laughs> we don't like, just sitting here like this. But like. Are you going to try hurt me? Like, well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have no good now. Health and safety. It'd be a health and safety nightmare. Mickey, you have no gum shield around you. Ah, it's grand. You lose a few teeth. Don't punch me in the mouth. Punch me in the face. I mean, yeah, sure. Just, but I tell you what, right there. <laughs> I know you've seen it in your eyes that you wanted to do it. I do. You really want to do sure it? I like, do. And I get to do the same to you. Uh. Yeah, I feel. I feel like now who's walking back? That's not. I'm, I'm that's not walking back. No, no, no. I just feel like you're gonna go overzealous. I mean, like, <gasps> I tell you what, if you want, you can even pick who punches who first. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep your glasses on. <laughs> oh no, no, no! These were. I had to wait literally a year for these. <laughs> please, please don't make me go through that again. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, go grab some gloves. Well, if you don't want me to punch you, you can just punch me. Brilliant. <laughs> what a deal. <laughs> Get the black ones. They're they're more padded. We're going to dig each other live on, for, for your... Not those black ones. <laughs> yeah. This off nicely. There's my... That's such a passive-aggressive watch. It'll tell me if I've been sitting down too long. So like, get up and move, you fucking dick. <laughs> like, all right. This Which is, is your strong hand? Uh, right. We Which, can just we can just swap it out. Global pandemic and all. <laughs> <laughs> gives gives a. Uh, so what are you putting on your left? Aye. Are you left-handed? Aye. Excellent. Gives one into the into the glove here. See what we're working with. Safe. <laughs> Does this go... So you just stick your hand in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pull it on, get your fingers in, get your thumb in, and then just wrap the velcro around. There you are. 
class. Come here to me, you cunt. Good to do. Yeah. Well, um, to be fair, you're sitting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how we're going to do this effectively. What, what do you want me to do? Just hit my hand. Go again. <laughs> Go again. Yeah, and again. <laughs> right, grand. <laughs> now you're just going to punch me in the face. <laughs> right. I just get to hit you and that's the end of the show. <laughs> You've wanted this for so long. Turn your face. Why do I have to have the glove on for you to hit Just it makes me feel like I instinctively <laughs> swing back. It feels fair. Just, just get up and fucking stand. <laughs> it just fe- it be- it'll make me feel less bad. Yeah, <laughs> if, yeah, I feel yeah, like, yeah. if I feel like you were able to defend yourself. <laughs> right, I might just close my eyes. Will I move this mic? You t- yeah, maybe. Yeah. Tell me where you want me to hit you. No, so I'm, I'm, I'm very conscious. You see, when we're tra- the reason I was wary of it earlier was that when we're training, if you get hit and you don't have a mouth guard on, it really sucks. Don't hit me in the mouth. Your mouth is all over your face. Like, as in, like, when you get it, it's going to, like, if you get hit here or anywhere, like, it'll, it'll, I'll, I'll hit I you. I think square, square. He <laughs> <laughs> knocked himself out there. Just a wee just, short just douche. A, just right a wee jab to the yeah, head. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Enjoy the show, hold on, folks. Hold on, hold on, is this in the way? Yeah. Remember, you can subscribe to our Patreon <laughs> uh, for any amount of money a month if you want to see this. All right, and thanks for the people who did have the, um, subscribed because you have made this possible. <laughs> <laughs> the moment you've all been waiting for. This is actually something we do in training to just to get used to. Get, right. get, I might, well, I close my eye. Don't, just not in the nose. No, I'm not going to hit you in the nose. Right. Just keep your eyes open. Isn't this fun? (laughs) (laughs) That was so anticlimactic. It was such a wee thought. Well, now that we know, (laughs) I think I should get the... Give you one back. Sure. Not the nose. Not the nose. I, I make a lot of money with this nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not the... Hey. Yeah. That was so underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs>